We have an awesome video for you tonight, so I need those thumbs ups and subscribe if you haven't already because it was Saturday Family Day, so we had a lot of fun with that. And we had two boxes just priced final records because we had original natural recording mobile fidelity, so you definitely want to check that out. And we've got super sales, new super sales on spinmarailstore.com, and we did a Ramones review for the record that's coming out record store day next Saturday, which is July 17th, so you definitely got to watch this video. Leave me some comments because there's lots of stuff to watch. Yeah. Thumbs up! I got a very important question for all four of you. What's that? What do you think the best record store day record coming out is? Um, aliens. Nope, you're wrong. <laughs> it's the Ramones. Oh my god. That's right. That's right. Crack that sucker open. I, I gotta have a listen. Okay. I gotta wear a week early, but I don't care. If it is as good as the CD, it's going to be the greatest live record ever pressed. Because I love that on CD. I, I have... I don't know, you know, there's been some really good live records. I don't want to hear it. You know, the beef Rihanna? and the like the beef and Rihanna, will you testify to uh, that is the greatest Ramones that is, record? That, that is the best. Ooh, ooh, she's cracked it open. Yep, so we've got the black sleeve. All right, all right, just like Reality Suite. Mm-hmm. Except for ours was white vinyl. Nah, nah. On Sire. Shiny black vinyl. Well, ours wasn't on Sire. Is it? Is it flat? Yes, it is. All right, it looks flat. It, it is looks flat. flat. All right, we are going to review this record. Yes. You got to play it. Okay. You ready? Mm -hmm. We'll be back. Aliens. So before we get into the Ramones review, mm -hmm. we have got to show you what's on our super sales page. Super sales, super sales. On spinmeroundstore.com. Mm -hmm. And we do have a deal of the day, don't we? No. What? I'm taking them home. She's taking them home. I'm not giving them out. Man. Okay, well, maybe a few. This is what we got. This is our deal of the day. We got to get it while we have it. Get it while it's hot, people. Yeah. Once they're gone, they're gone. It will be removed off a of Super Sales page rather quickly. If we're not lazy, <laughs> we might be lazy. <laughs> it's just the truth. They might make it a couple days, That's if that. Yeah. I mean, it, well, you know, there's only 10 copies, I believe. There is. There is. But I had to put a what? white zombie... I am an astro creep. Yeah, I love that one. Good album. And then we got the Sex Pistols. Coldplay. I think that one. Arctic Monkeys. All right, all right. Venom. 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 Oh my God. I'd say he's cute, but he's really not. <laughs> <laughs> he's fugly. What? Yes. Aliens. He could be an alien. We got DJ Khaled. Eminem, Slim Shady, Khalid, Manchester Orchestra, and the Beastie Boys. Beastie Boys? Yeah! No sleep till Brooklyn! What? Oh. Brooklyn? Till Easton! That's where yeah. we're located. Oh my gosh. In the Palmer so Park cute. Mall. Come here. Look. Even though these are not available in store for our super sales no, prices. No, don't walk in here. Don't try to come pick it up. This literally is. Online only. That's right. On the super I will sales wrap page. it and you'll be happy. That's right, I man. Promise. Keep somebody employed. I don't know who, though. Doo -doo -doo -doo. She's an alien. Uh huh. <gasps> we got Van Halen. And then we got more Van Halen. We got Kiss World. What's your favorite Kiss song? Beth. Isn't it Beth? It has to be Beth. Yeah, sure. We'll go with That's that. That's what I thought. Then we got Metallica. Greatest song Metallica ever made is on that album. One. Greatest music video they ever did was on that album. One. I'm just saying. It's still my third favorite album. From Metallica? Yes. Wow. Wow. My, it's my top one right there. We got Megadeth. Opeth. Which is limited to 500. Distributors don't even have these, man. No. It's out of stock. Get them while they're hot, people. There's three in there. And then they'll be gone. See, this is my favorite. We got Ministry. This is just such a good album. I, I don't have, like, a favorite by them. I love all of their albums. Well, you know what it is? They're very eclectic because they switched up music genres so much. Yes. So, I mean, they you get what you get. They keep me entertained. <laughs> yeah, well, that's it. That's it. If you were a fan of them, you're a fan of all the, all the genres. This is Motley Crue. We got Motionless in White. Best album in this entire whole box of things that's on sale in my opinion i love this freaking i album. mean it is a good price okay we got papa roach it's the greatest hits volume two 
from 2010 to 2020. Okay. I think okay. it's 2020. Yeah, it is. Then we got Deftones. Gore. We got Ghost. Ghost. Anthrax. Anthrax. Yeah, volume eight. Wait a minute, I heard you got two different anthraxes in here. You're giving away my secrets. Oh, I am? Yes. I'm sorry. Okay, you get to see. Bam. Ooh, they've come for us. Oh. Uh-huh. She's an alien. But wait, there was more. Because these are already listed on there. We got Front Bottoms and Ariana Grande, Guns N' Roses, Dinosaur Jr., Train, Guar, Aerosmith, uh, Lincoln Park, man, we still got a couple of those. Uh, Motley Crue, Doctor Feel Good, yeah. Pantera somewhere in here, Zappa Baby, of course, System of a Downs, Melanie Martinez, Sean Mendez, David Bowie, uh, Tom Petty, oh, Tom Five Petty? Seconds of Summer, uh, Rolling Stones, Dave Matthews Band, PJ Harvey's, bunch of them. There's, there she is, Evermore, what? Yeah. And then Chromatica from uh, Lady Gaga. Not bad, not bad. So don't forget to check out our super sales page on spinmearoundstore.com. And it's online only, turkeys. That's <laughs> right. Did I give everybody a chance to listen to this album? Yes, yes we did. <laughs> and what did you think? It's good. It's good? It's really it's good. It's just good? It's really what? good. What? Is it's it good? It's really good. It's really good. Yes. I want one. Huh? Yeah, I want it's one. Good. It's good. Okay, okay. It's really good. Now come for the important questions. Yes. Did you have a favorite song off this album? Well, it's the Ramones, so, you know, every one, but, you know, Gimme Gimme Shock Treatment. Gimme Gimme Shock Treatment. Yeah, it's, that's yeah. a great one. What about you? She's the one. She's I, the I, one? I like that one. All right, all right. Did you have a favorite song? Sheena's a punk rocker. Okay. Kids Day Gone Tomorrow. Okay, okay. Well, that, that's true, isn't it? Now, I do got to say that this is very similar to the CD. Yes. Extremely similar. There is There is one minor difference. And I think it's an actual improvement, sort of, for a uh, record quality mm -hmm. pressing. Um, in the very beginning of the CD, there is a girl that talks a little bit about the Ramones and everything they've yeah. been up to. And, you know, she hypes them up. Okay. She is completely missing off of this album. and it's But it's the same exact show. I think the reason why it was cut was so they could fit on two, only one record. Okay. I think that's why it was cut and all the and the couple of other talking bits in there. But you know, it's a typical punk record because no song is over three and a half minutes. Uh, I, <laughs> I challenge you to find a Ramon song over five minutes. Yeah. I, 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 I don't think there is. No. 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 Everything is quick and sweet. Yeah. And their sets were normally uh, half hour, forty five minute sets. Mm -hmm. So you know, it was just it was just balls to the wall hard, mm -hmm. as yeah, fast as they could play. Without getting, without fighting each other, that was the point of the Ramones. <laughs> and they don't want to do a lot of stuff. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I love this album. I think it's terrific. Mm -hmm. At first, I wasn't happy with it. It got progressively a lot better. And the second time I listened to it was even better than the first time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. I think it was just the first two songs, um, Bibsqueak Bibs Pop and... Um, Teenage Lobami. It wasn't as good in the beginning, but it just got better throughout. It was Completely. Like halfway through Teenage Lobami. It just like, it seemed like it just like kicked. And Pinhead is the best way to end an album. Yes. Mm -hmm. By far. So I gotta say, best damn Ramones live album, I think, ever. I really? think it beats the other one. You really think it beats Ro the Roxy, Live at the Roxy? Yes. Wow. Okay. Well, yes. it's good that they pressed, you know, 13,000 13, copies 000. of this one because the Live at the Roxy, I think it was only five or 6,000. Okay. Okay. Now, is it store music? Yes. Yes. It's, it's, it's store modes. All right. I, I mean, hey, you gotta check. You know, it's one of those questions when you're reviewing a record. Yeah, well, there's another question you missed. What? About our least favorite song. Oh, yeah. What's your least favorite song off the album? There isn't one. Huh? It's the Ramones. This is a Ramones establishment piece. Did you, did you have a least favorite song? No. No? No. Oh, whew. What All about right. you? <laughs> uh, Blitz creep pop on this one. Yeah, it just wasn't I as think good. it's just they didn't go as hard. It's different no. than what you thought it was gonna mm -hmm. be because you had the CD. You can tell. Yeah, well, that's exactly it. You can tell they cut something out in the very, very mm -hmm. beginning of mm -hmm. it, and that's what they cut out. Okay. And I mean, you you could just tell if if you have that CD, you'll understand exactly what I'm talking about. I, I've had the CD for years. It's been in my car for years. I've listened to it four billion times. 
It's like one of my all-time favorite Ramones CDs. Now I have it on vinyl. Woohoo! Thank you, Record Store Day. I, I really actually needed a pressing of this. Yes, and we took number 41. Number 41. Come on down. All right. I don't know what the significance of that was. I'd rather 666, but, you know, what am I going to say? Uh, rating 1 through 10. I give it a 9.5. Nine and a half. It's almost a ten, but this, they cut out the first part, and I think it just took away from it. All right, all right. An eight. Are you shitting me? No, it gets an eight. I've heard you give tens before. It gets yeah, she an threw it at this one now. <laughs> you told me I'm not allowed to give tens anymore, so I've had to redo my entire rating system in my head. So now it's an eight. You're now an alien. <laughs> you are an alien. Now it's an eight. What about you? That's right. I'm biased as hell. <laughs> it's like an eight and a half. Eight and eight and a half. I don't really know. It's it's number good. one through ten. Ten yeah. being the best, one being the worst. Throw one out. Yes. Throw Seven. one out. Seven? Yeah, it came to my head first. All right. I, I give it a nine and a half. Yeah. No. Do you know, but do I'm you know, shaking her down for an eight. Do you know? Uh, you get eight. <laughs> do you know why I give it a nine and a half? Why? Because I'm waiting for one more to be released that's even better. Really? So that's why, why I give it a nine and a half. Because I want one that's even better, so I could be like 10. Okay. See, I, 10. I want them to repress Adios Amigos. Because I swear it's not on vinyl. Uh, I swear it's only on CD. I love that. That's my favorite Ramones album. Uh, I really like this one, but like that, like an actual studio album, that one's my favorite. Uh, for studio album, it's okay. Dad, yes. She milkshaked me. No, with the prayer bees. Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 okay. Okay. So there's our review of the Ramones. Pick it up record store day. And when is record store day? July 17th. And what time are we opening? 10 a.m. And what time do they go online if there's any left? <laughs> 1 p.m. 1 p.m.? 1 p.m. Okay, July, July 17th. 17th. <sighs> and we probably have 40, 50, 60 copies. Aliens. Doo -doo -doo -doo. We have a few of tonight's just price final records. And they're awesome. Amazing. Oh my God, just wait. Come on. This is the best box ever. Because we've got original master recording, Donald Fagan, The Nightfly. Now, original master recordings, this series of albums started in 1977, and they were pressed in Japan on super vinyl. Is that what it was? Yes, and super vinyl was invented by JVC. Okay. Yeah. All right. Super vinyl. Super vinyl. Super vinyl because it was supposed to have less clicks and pops than other vinyl and be more durable. Okay. And mm -hmm. that's that that's how I look at mobile fidelity today. Mm -hmm. So it still works and holds true. Mm -hmm. What else you working with? We have Fleetwood Mac, also original master recording. Now they recorded these at half speed, which was that um while they were recording it, the stylus was going at half speed. They didn't invent that though. DECA did. DECA started in the late 50s and early 60s. Okay. And that's how they made their original, like, big recordings. Nice. Yeah. So all those 50s records are half-speed mastered. Yeah. Like, the DECA ones, it was, like, 58 to 67, I want to say. Okay. DECA. Yeah. Interesting. Mm -hmm. A lot of jazz. Super Tramp, original master recording. Breakfast in America. Breakfast in America. Oh. Uh-huh. And then look, we got Crime of the Century 2 original master recording. How cool Aliens is that? in jail. Mm hmm So um, Mobile Fidelity Sound Labs was sold in, in 1999. Really? But, yeah, and that's when they asked, when they did the big revival. Okay. Because they got sold in 1999. It makes some sense and now. Even though they make these awesome records, they also make really good CDs. Super Discs and the gold CDs. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they also have original master CDs as yeah. well, don't they? They do. Very cool. Original master recording of Alan Parsons' project. Okay. Okay, and then we got Moody Blues, Days of Future Past. Moody Blues, what you know about the Moody Blues? Okay, so did you know that they used to run a record store? The whole band? Yes. They owned a record. <laughs> they ran a record store. They ran a record at store. Least, at least two of the members. Yes. Okay, okay, fair enough, right? I, I'm sorry, I had to question that's, you on that's, that. That's because record store people get shit done. We, apparently we do. Right? Record store people, we get shit done. You know, we, we pressed our own record for drop yeah. number one, Reality yeah. Suite, yeah. Awaken. Mm -hmm. It is available on? SpoonRailStore.com. That's right. We get shit done. Yes. Yeah. And remember R.E.M.'s manager. He worked at a record store. Nice. And R.E.M. started 
they met each other working at a record store. <sighs> Man. See, record store people get shit done. So what do the Moody Blues and R.E.M. have in common? That record store people get shit done. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Cat Stevens, original master recording. Very cool. Gordon Lightfoot. And then we got Al Stewart. Gino Vanelli. Powerful people. But wait. There's two. What? You can wiki wiki woo this bitch. I don't think you want to wiki wiki woo that one. <laughs> <laughs> wiki wiki woo original master recording. Uh -huh. I don't think you want to do uh -huh. that. Very interesting. <laughs> Melissa Manchester. Neil Diamond. You can wiki wiki woo him too. What? I know. I know about that one. Look at the crazy box. I know, right? Neil Diamond. Nice. Han, you can't wiki wiki. Woo. <laughs> Kenny Rogers. <laughs> Gotta know when to hold them. Well, know when to fold them. That's right. The power and the majesty. It's a field recording. That is an original master recording. Okay, that's interesting. Isn't that cool? Could you turn that around? I'm I'm kind of intrigued. I've never seen this one. Uh, scene four, it says uh, about birds, foliage, and mountainsides. And there's a train for scene six. On an original master recording. Original master recording, and it said it was called The Storm. But then okay. there's a whole bunch of other stuff going on, too. That's pretty interesting. Yeah. I've never seen anything like it. Have you? No. No, me neither. Classical original master recording. Okay. Mm-hmm. Then we got the half speed mastered. 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 What? <laughs> half speed. Very, very cool. Half speed mastered Pink Floyd. Barbra Streisand. Of course, you gotta have the Barbra Streisand <laughs> half speed master. To. I mean, where would you be if you didn't have that, right? I mean if you're in if you're into Babs, man, mm -hmm. you need that half speed you need master. The half -speed I don't wanna hear it. And then we have the best of Earth, Wind and Fire. That's an epic one. Mm-hmm. And then we got Motorhead. 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 Half Speed Master? No. What? No. Awesome. Original it's Master. It's really no. cool. No, it's just really cool. Because uh, I mean, we got an original Motorhead. I want a Half Speed Master Motorhead. I know, but you know, I'm trying to think. I don't know if I've seen one. I don't think there is one. Yeah, but there's this big revival of, you know, the original Master Recordings. Mm -hmm. So it's really cool. Yeah, yeah, you never know. David Bowie. And I have a fun fact. Hit it. So when he was 16, he recorded his first song, I Never Dreamed, okay? So there's only one copy of this thing, all right? So he was moving back in the late 90s, and it was found in his bread box. And what? it ended up selling in 2018 for $50,000. Listen, people, check the bread box. You I gotta check her. the bread box. I was like, did they buy the bread box and the, and it was in it, or did they actually, you know what I mean? Like, well, fifty grand was fifty grand now. Yeah, but it's it was still sold Bowie. in the UK though for four for forty for forty pounds, forty thousand pounds. Okay. Well, I bet you right it's now like that thing would go 000. for. It would probably go today. Two hundred and fifty grand. They thought yeah, it was only gonna go for four thousand. Really? That's that's what they well, were asking. Well, Twenty thousand dollars or four thousand pounds? Twenty eighteen, she said. Twenty eighteen. Mm -hmm. It's sold for twenty eighteen for fifty grand. Yes. Okay. I mean, I I don't know. I, I it, it's. Well, that's what you know. Like I was trying to learn all this information about the original. Well, wait a minute. We owned a record store in twenty eighteen. Mm -hmm. We've owned this thing for a while now. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's been seven eight years. Yeah, but you know, prices of records have really gone up since twenty twenty. It was on. I mean, there were a lot of ups and downs. I mean, Fleetwood Mac rumors. Well, where was this? Where was this auction advertised? Yeah. Because I I'm telling you, it. I would have paid 50k for it. Yeah. I didn't even got 50k. Okay. I would have to sold my kids. <laughs> her. At and Junior. Her, like I'll be the favorite. Let <laughs> me say I'm an adult. I'm not a child. Okay, but saying. see, I was trying to learn all this information about the original master recording because I thought it was really cool. Mm -hmm. Did you know that some of these records are like made off of a copy of a copy of a copy of a copy? And yeah. that's why original master recordings are so cool because they like never use that original master tape. Okay. It, but it's not even a copy of a copy. It's a copy of a copy of a copy of a copy. That's generally where records yeah. come from Isn't at this crazy? point. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. No, it's true. All right. Good Bowie fact. David Bowie, he thought he was going to lose his mind playing Z Ziggy Stardust. He I think thought he, did. he was going to lose his mind. I think he lost a little piece of him. He said for four years he was not the same. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, he, it was a little yeah. piece of him. Oh, yeah. but for the 50th anniversary of it, they put out a Barbie. <laughs> it's creepy looking as hell. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. David Bowie, Hunky Dory. This one is 2016, 180 gram vinyl. It was a limited edition. 
Okay, I was gonna say it looks it looks a little uh yeah different and it feels yeah. it feels like it would be an import. Yeah. But it, yeah, I don't well know. that's why it's on Parlophone and see it is an import. Ah Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. What else you got? I know you got something else yeah, chomping right, so at the bit. The song <laughs> speaks already. All right, when um Elon Musk sent one of his of the Teslas up in the space, that was a song playing. Nice. When Makes some sense. Up. Complete sense. Okay. David Bowie, Rise and Fall of Ziggy Stardust. You got one more. <laughs> I got one more. So in the in the SpongeBob movie, the first one, not the new one, when the king that is shown, um, King Atlantis, he is the voice actor for him. David Bowie. Yeah, David Bowie. What? Is the voice actor for him. I didn't know David Bowie had anything to do with SpongeBob. Nope, me neither. Did you know David Bowie had anything to do with SpongeBob? Yes, because once um, somebody that worked for them died, they started having a whole bunch of famous people being in it because they originally did not want famous people being in SpongeBob at all. Ah, okay, okay, very cool. And now, cool. you know, SpongeBob's had 25 years of being a patty chef. <laughs> and he lives on <laughs> pineapple under the sea still. Yep. He never made it out the pineapple. Nope. Mmm. Led Zeppelin. And that building's still standing. Still standing. Woo. Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. The doors. And more doors. And this one is an import from Germany? Canada. 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 You were close. I'm like, hey. I'm like, there's it's so across many. The pond. It's there's okay. so many I've looked at today. You've not even seen everything I priced today. I priced mm. so much. Fleetwood Mac Rumors. Is this one an import from Germany? Maybe. <laughs> Nine! <laughs> But you know something? What? You did price a lot today. We put out over three hundred dollar records. Yeah, it, it was crazy. It was awesome. We we even put out a hundred plus uh, DVDs. Mhm. Mm so you got to the CDs. I mean, there, there was so much stuff flying out there. I she did super sales. I put out a hundred classical records too. And next week from today mm -hmm. is record store day. Yes. So man. And there's two. Wait, is that one from Germany? <laughs> no, this one is mine. The other one was. National yes. Academy oh, okay. of Recording Arts Album of the Year. Very, very cool. Mm -hmm. Flute with Mac. And guess what? They're alive. They're alive. Okay. And then we've got the wall. The wall. The wall. Because we don't need no education. She graduated. Okay, Woo. well, see, this wall right here, uh -huh. this is an import from Japan. Oh, Japanese import. Japanese import. Where's your OB? Uh, it doesn't have the OB. BB blue. Because the OB was up here. Okay. Uh, so it time. just got lost in, you know, the sands of time. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, you licked it. She said sands of time. <laughs> and then we've got another wall, but this one's from the U.S. Okay. Find the Garfunkel. 1999. This one was pressed in 1999 on 200 gram vinyl. Very cool. Mm-hmm. Ah. Another Simon and Garfunkel, and this one's got the hype stickers. Wait a minute. She could go. Wicky, wicky, woo. But why, why is that not Spanish? not even the same color. <laughs> Interesting. Mm -hmm. Simon and Garfunkel. Here's to you, Mrs. Robinson. Art Garfunkel. Bull Angus. Bull Angus you. Bull Angus you. It's like 1971 Psych, Psych Rock. Rock. Yep. Mm -hmm. She found the stash, guys. Mm -hmm. She found the stash. I did. Pretzel Lodge. Steely Dan. <laughs> More Steely Dan, and we got another Steely Dan because Steely Dan section is empty. Wake me up tonight. Evanescence. Evanescence. I love that one. <laughs> Buffalo Springfield. Rolling Stones. More Rolling Stones, and guess what? They were alive. They were alive. Get your yayas out. Get your yayas out. I don't got yayas. Mm -hmm. Nobody knows what yayas are. I know what yayas are. Okay. Rolling Stones. Tattoo you. Tattoo you. You. I'll kick your no. <laughs> Pot liquor. Pot liquor. First taste. Nice. The Beatles. The Blue Album. Oh man, Super Tramp. Super Tramp. She could still go, Wicky Wicky Woo. And this taste she could go, Wicky Wicky Woo. That's right. One was an original. Oh, there was two in there. Yes, two in yeah, there. That's what I'm wow. Yeah, yeah. Wow. See. Like the triple. <laughs> yes, I was thinking the original master oh. in the front. And we got Crime of the Century. Yeah. See, so you could have done it with that one too. Cat Stevens. And this one's an import. Maybe from Germany. It is. Okay. Nine. <laughs> Yellow. Ooh, this aliens. one's a club. Hollow Notes. Eagles. Boston. Jim Croce. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> you know what you could do, right? You go know, wicky wicky woo, but they don't really look the same. Because <laughs> they're, they're completely different pressings. That's right. So this one is like a copy of that one okay. on the tapes. Yeah. Because okay. that one came out later. She licked the rim. More Jim Croce. <laughs> different Jim Croce. Blondie. The band, 
Four Seasons. Sam. Iron Butterfly. And Duffy da da ga da baby. Oh, yeah, that's me. Hi. How many of those albums did they sell? Over four million copies. It stayed on the charts for 140 weeks. And, and Duffy da da ga da baby. I was sitting here with number four, right? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The she can facts on that. Yeah, 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 yeah. What else you know about um, Iron Butterfly? For Atlantic Records, this is the largest selling album of all times before Led Zeppelin. Ah, Zeppelin knocking him out the box. I don't know. Flowers and Beats, one of my favorites. And Ahmet had a heavy hand in this. Ahmet? Ahmet, the same guy with uh, Ray Charles. Ah, okay. Yeah, he had a heavy hand in okay. this Okay. Don't you know something else about Iron Butterfly? I, I got you. a couple you. of things. The drummer. What you know about the drummer? Uh, Ron Bushy. He is the only member to be on all six of their studio albums. That's right. That's right. Boom. Yeah, because they haven't released one since 1975. <sighs> right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the last time it was a good year. Ballman Brothers Band. Grand Funk. Eurythmics. Doobie Brothers. More Doobie Brothers. Bob and Turner Overdrive. Bread. More bread. Go ahead, do your thing. Squish. Squish. The there sounds you of bread. Go. Squish. Empire Strikes Back soundtrack. Luke. I am your father. <laughs> My name is not Luke, man. <laughs> the Godfather soundtrack. I'll make you an offer you can't refuse. Duck sets coming out, nothing is real. I live in a trash <laughs> heap and it smells great. No, somebody was, somebody said, oh, there was. I, I was at a convenience store and somebody was, said to the guy, oh, did you win the lottery yet? He's like, no. And they're like, oh, well, then you'll be in wherever. And he's like, oh, I'm going to the Cayman Islands. And I was like, but Eddie Wilson said Jersey's the best place to live, man. <laughs> Fresh Air, Mannheim Steamroller. Yep. Michael Jackson. <laughs> More Michael Jackson. See, Junior's doing that now. And that's like his like fake laugh thing. He does that and he doesn't get that the Michael Jackson thing. But I find it to be so funny. <laughs> oh, yeah? You know what you could do with that one? It matches one of the original master recordings, nope, so you... It's the half-speed master. A half-speed master. Half speed master. Oh. So you go, wicky, wicky, woo. And I have a fun fact. So the name was originally going to be Earth, Air, and Fire, but he thought it wouldn't sound the bear. I stole your fun fact. Mm. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> mm. Mother... Oh. <laughs> MFSV, the Blue Ridge Quartet, not with John Fogarty, Jimmy McDonald. You know what that is? That's some good old gospel, gospel music, music right there, yeah. Mm -hmm. Steve, Steve Martin. Martin. And there's two. No. No. Nine. No. Nine. No. Look, white hair, brown hair. Mmm. Yeah. I always thought they were the same album. <laughs> She's like, mind blown. But guess what? There's more. There's more? There's more. Whatever led them on to this. The fact that these two are uh, mobile. I mean, they're just they're just cruising along here. Oh, the Bee Gees! The Bee Gees! Oh, 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 the Bee Gees, the, the Bee, Gees. Bee Gees. Okay, I'm ready. That's next week. week. Oh, that's yeah, next you week. You have a whole week to wait. I have my share of them too, by the way, guys. Mm -hmm. Trust mm -hmm. me, there'll be another unboxing coming real soon mm -hmm. with the rest of our Record Store Day records. Oh. Hopefully. Hopefully. Bee Gees, Cat Stevens, Warren Zevon, Blood, Sweat, and Tears, Different Blood, Sweat, and Tears, Toto, Africa, Eric Clapton. Elton John, who was friends with David Bowie in his teen years. What? In his <laughs> yes. teen years, really? In his teen years, they were friends. Mm -hmm. Okay, were they around the same age? Did anybody know? I think so, yeah. Yeah, I believe. Yeah. Hmm. I think it might have been a little bit Could younger. you imagine stealing hubcaps with Elton John? Hell yeah! Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I think that would have been epic. <laughs> oh, yeah. Or going sunglass shopping with Elton John? Oh, yeah. What? Mm -hmm. More Elton John. More Elton John. Different Elton John. <laughs> Dr. Hook. Billy Joel. Billy Joel, Stray, 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 Houdini, it's Houdini, yep, yeah, remember, 1966 British Rock, Eagles, Santana, Santana, more Santana, wait, she got Santana facts, hit it, I don't care what you say, you know Santana facts, okay, so Carlos Santana was told not to quit his day job, okay. I think she already did this she one, right, one, like the other day, mm. the original drummer, who's the that, the original drummer, Went to to prison for manslaughter in San Quentin. Oh yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, keep it moving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> wiki, wiki, poop. Yeah, yeah. Bob Seger, Argent, stole my thunder. <laughs> Beach Boys, America, America. Ace. Uh, is, isn't that Bob Weir? No, I don't think it is. 
That's like a different Ace album. This is like Ace the Band. And oh, Bob Weir has uh, the see, album I'm, Ace. I'm, I'm just completely off. I mean, I, I got excited. My mind's too. driving a train high on cocaine. You know, I mean, Casey Jones, you better watch yeah, your that's, feet. that's where I'm at. Mamas and the Papas. I want to use the bathroom. Crosby, Sills, Nash and Young. Crosby and Nash. Yeah, you get like half a quick check in New Jersey, though. <laughs> yeah. Everybody in Quick Check it's knows like a tour. me. Because I've been to every quick check in New Jersey practically. I mean, that's like my home away from home. Mm -hmm. They got the best coffee. John Denver, Pat Benatar, Chicago, Alquin, Goran Lightfoot, Brad, more bread. What? You can go squish again. Squish you. There has not been the sound of bread. Mm. Doobie it's Brothers, gone. Jefferson Starship, we built this Arco. city. Pablo Cruz, Seals and Croft, Judy Collins. Judy Collins. Starlin Vocal Band. Songbird. It's a rock comp. Yeah. Elvis. He's left the building. Yeah. Yeah. Moody Blues. Moody Blues. Moody Blues. Oh, it looks like I jumped a gun on your Moody Blues fact. You got any more for us? Anything, anything. Threshold. Didn't you have one about Threshold? Hmm. Uh, Anybody got any fact on Moody Blues? No. They're no, all, they're, they're they're no. okay. Awesome. You know what I got to say about Moody Blues? What? They're, they're pretty okay. I still haven't gotten into them, but I don't diss Chicago anymore. Mm -hmm. Just saying. We got different Se Seals and Croft. Peter Paul and Mary. Puff the Magic Dragon. Gary Puckett. Pure Prairie League. Don McLean. American Pie. Bob Not Skaggs. on that one. Barry Manilow. And there's two. So you could go. <laughs> More Barry Manilow. Skip me again. Captain of Tennille. <laughs> James Taylor, Scott Pilgrim, original motion picture soundtrack. Can you guess the color? It's red. red. <laughs> and it's red. It's red. It's red. Mmm. Yeah, isn't that cool? She licked it. No, it's from 2010 and it's red. Okay, okay. <laughs> A Star is Born soundtrack. Orphan Black. Earth Girls Are Easy with Gina Davis. Nice. Yeah. That ain't gonna last long. Nope. 2001 Space Odyssey. Do you think what? anybody made it this long into the video? I don't know. Yes. Uh, uh, do do you I think, think so? so? We've come up with a code word again. What kind of code word should we have them type peaches. down below? Peaches? Peaches. The beautiful peaches. peaches. The beautiful peaches. peaches. Da -na -na. <laughs> na -na 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 -na. Okay. Millions of peaches. Peaches for me. See, I actually like them. Listen. My mom said the song's a joke. I'm like, type yeah. down below the word peaches, peaches if you made it this far. Yeah. Yeah. I don't yeah. think you did. Marvin Gaye. There'll be like five people. Alicia Keys. There you go. Brothers Johnson. Amos Lee. Randy Travis. Crystal Gale. Another Crystal Gale. Oh, Dance Hall of Shame. It is non- Shame, shame, shame. It is non-music. Okay. Yeah. Interesting stuff. And we got 12 and <clears throat> And they're all electro and trance music. Trance. Yeah, and this one is Techno. actually yeah, this one is actually called Untitled. Okay. And the songs are called Untitled. Hmm. Yeah. Vance Two, Leveler, Outland. Okay, it's a weird. DJ Sneak, Beats and Noises EP. Beats and Noises. Beats and Noises. Yeah, because we got a bunch of break beats too. Okay. Okay, so Sanctuary, M Five. Nice. Voyager, Lost Worlds. Hmm. Yeah. Armando. 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 Sounds like a dude I used to get some stuff from. House and Acid. House music going that long? Do, do, what? Do, what? Do, do, what? Do, what? Do, what? Do, what? Do, How? What? Do, what? Do, what? Do, what? Do. What? Okay, well, look at it go. Okay. <laughs> Bass Bit Boys. Bass. Bass Bit Boys. Two Touch. Gypsy King. The DJ Sneak. Swing Street. Little John Coleman. That one's House. And then dust tracks okay mm -hmm. interesting yeah man i need a three second break okay <laughs> now you know what i need a i don't need a pole i need her to walk around so i can hear quack quack <laughs> quack quack hit it go ahead every step she takes she sounds like a duck every single step now i need a pole Stop. Quack, 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 quack. Thanks, you can't hear it. <laughs> I'm serious. Quack, 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 quack. Okay. I need a pole, I need a pole, and I need a pole. You got 10 seconds. <laughs> now she's trying to shuffle, it ain't gonna work. Kings of Leon. 
Limited cream color. That's right. King Cruel. Still got that linen, man. Arctic Monkeys. David Bowie. Zappa. Ariana Grande. King Gizzard. Led Zeppelin. Nine Inch Nails. Nice, nice. Ariana Grande. Yours truly. Uh, cheap Trick. Interesting stuff. Mac DeMarco. Weezer. OK Human. Another Weezer. Another Weezer. Another Ariana. Black Keys. Uh, five Seconds of Summer. Interesting stuff. Mumford and Sons. This was from Record Store Day 2019. We got, uh, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Keep walking. Keep walking. We hear you. Pantera on the Super Sales page and available in store. She's trying her hardest not to squeak. Got lots of Pantera still in stock. That's that limited edition. Poison, Papa Roach, Possessed, Pretty Reckless, Prize Fighter, Queens of a Stone Age. Nice, 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 nice. Queen, Queen's Reich, Rainbow. All right, Rise Against, they're all ready. I don't want to show up because then I'll give away somebody's thing. Which we're going with? Billy Joel, The Bridge. I love this album. Fantastic. Billy Joel. Yes. All right, interesting. Interesting stuff. What you got? Okay, I'll Okay, I have Sully. Sully? Yeah. So, you know in, um, <laughs> in Toy Story, um, Buzz's children, uh -huh. he rescues them, the aliens. Okay. Yeah, so they have him dressed up as Sully. From Monsters, uh, Inc. Yeah, from Monsters, Inc. Okay. That's where, the, I was wondering where it actually came from. Yeah. yeah that's it's pretty cool. It's and it's super yeah. large. What you working with? Almost Famous Soundtrack. Almost Famous Soundtrack was released on Friday. Yes. What is on this? Do you want to flip it around? Yeah, go ahead. Because we got Simon and Garfunkel, Nancy Wilson, David Bowie, oh, really? Elton John. It's nice. a really good soundtrack. It actually is. It's Two a discs. really good soundtrack. Bowie, mm -hmm. Zeppelin, Skinner. Nice, nice, mm -hmm. nice. All right, what you working with? I was looking for that today. I was going to take this copy home, but I'll leave it here if anybody wants it. Mm -hmm. Jane's Addiction. Great, epic, iconic album. What? They were caught stealing? Once, when they were young, I don't know, they just won't give in. But uh, if I had to pick a winner out of these, literally, I was looking for this one earlier today, so this one would have to win Jane's Addiction. I have it. I love this one. It's a great I mean, album. I, li I like the other one better. No. This one is great. No, no, that's the best one. But on the bottom screen, let me know who you would pick. Would you pick her, Billy Joel, The Bridge, Almost Famous Soundtrack? Oh. What? Sully. Remix. The remix. I'm going to vote for you. Or, yeah, or would you pick Her James you. Addiction? <laughs> Let me know down below. Epic, epic poll. A lot of good choices here, but you can only pick one. What? What you doing? Wrapping Spin Me Round Store .com orders. Spin Me Round Store orders? Yeah. What? what? I do got, you got Daniels. He's got good taste. Nice, nice. That White Lion's killer from what I heard. Yeah, isn't that the one that just came out? I think so, and yeah. the Faith No More also. It was like and a mystery then... cover until they unveiled the mystery, and I don't, well, I don't know. Well, it's the greatest hits. That's Are they? Why. Wait a minute, hold up. Are they not stomping him? And is he liking it? No. Is that kind of what I'm looking at there? No. I'm, I'm just looking. checking. I don't know, I gotta look twice. Doo -doo -doo -doo. No, yeah. that's one black shoe. It's a black shoe, guys. <laughs> no, 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 no. Maybe it's a shoe, but what's it doing? I don't know. It's a ballet shoe, and it's in his hand. It's not stomping time. But he looks happy about it. I don't get it. I can't do it. What else you working with? I don't know anymore. <laughs> you made me look twice. I'm just saying. I'm like, what's this? He's probably paying big money for it, too. All right, this is Michael's <laughs> in Colorado. Lincoln Park and the Hoover Phonic. Nice. That was a record store day one. That was last drop, right? Yep, yep. Yeah. And then, guys, Pretty don't cool. forget, man, we still got Dr. Feel Good. What? Oh, yeah. And all that other stuff in stock. Yeah, don't forget the Super Sales page. Super Sales page on yeah. spinmeroundstore.com. Right? Yeah. Aliens. Oh, there he is. Oh. No, there she is. Do -do -do -do. You know today's Saturday? Yes. Yeah. You know it's family day? Yes. Yeah. Now, Justin just had his 18th birthday. It just passed. He couldn't make it last weekend. So, I think for this family fun day, 
we should each go and pick him out a present. At least you three can, because I'm busy working. I got $20 for each of you. Take a 20. Take a 20. Take a 20. Take a 20. Soft count. Now, the object of this game is to get him the best gift you can with $20 in this mall. Okay. It has to be in this mall. One question, please. What's that? Can you get more than one present? Yes, but it has to be from the same store. The store? No, 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 no. A different store. Any store in the mall, but it has to be from the same store. Yeah, and yeah. you have to know what store it was, because I'm going to ask you in the video. I'm going with this. You think so? Yeah, I think I'm, I'm going with this ready. I'm going to get this ready. You know something? <laughs> Out of all three of you, you know who I'm rooting for the most and who I really think is going to win this? Brooke. Why? I think Brooke knows Justin better than uh, the two of you. I talked to him 24-7. Uh, I'll just give him a bunch of pretzels. I'll win. <laughs> so, so, I'm just saying, but they'll be here any minute. Okay. And then, you know, we'll get to the actual video. It's Saturday. Does everybody know what Saturday normally is? Family Day. Oh, so it was Family Day in the record store is what you're telling me. Yes. 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 All right. All right. Well, today we have a very special game. Yes. That's right. It's who can run around the record store aimlessly the fastest and win? What? <laughs> okay. Huh? You, th you think you got this? I don't know. Shona, what, what game do you think we should play today? I don't know. I was about to fall on the floor and let everybody <laughs> run around me. <laughs> uh, I like this game. I like where this is going. I can make a rather empty. Now, Justin, do you have any idea of what game we could play today? No? Rihanna? No. Brooke? No. Do you have any idea of a game we could play today? I, I don't know. Well, I, I have a very great game. Yeah. You know, what, what, why don't you three go over by that door and pick out your bag? Because, you know, you sneaky, sneaky sneaker. You sneaky, sneaky sneaker. What was last week? I believe last week was my birthday. Y yes, it was. And how old did you turn? 18. And I was like... What do you mean he's not coming to the record store? What do you mean he won't? What? What? You sneaky, sneaky sneaker. So, today, earlier, before you guys got here, I had these kids run around aimlessly and somebody took longer than everybody else. <laughs> By like an hour. <laughs> By like an hour. Seriously. To pick you out the most perfect gift they possibly could in the mall. Now, we want to know who did the best job, but we don't want to know from you. We want to know from you and Mama. That's right. That's right. She's going to judge by the facial expressions that you give. Which one of these three children here, even though she's 18, she's still a child to me, did the best job. They had $20 each. Who would like to go first? Me. All right. There you go. She's going first. You got to pull it out. You got to show them. You got to show the world. It's totally weird, I guess. The world. <laughs> If you don't like it, I'll take it. What? <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. We gotta, we gotta judge <laughs> his, his expression, not yours. You don't understand. I got a whole, a whole tribe with the porn. <laughs> <clears throat> what, what's, what's, the, what's her name? What's his name? What's its name? Give him back. I mean. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you know why? It's like unicorn. Cause everyone deserves some magic in their life. So. Ta -da. It's a, <laughs> yeah, it's a squish she hit it. Okay. She hit it. R r r nail on the head, right? Nail on the head. Sure. Sure. Right, perfect. Good. Perfect. <laughs> what you working with? Okay, I go next. Yes. Here you go. What is it? You pulled out that thing first. Oh, really? I gotta see it. Really? You can grow, grow a dragon. What? I'm gonna add a lot of water. Super puzzles? Oh, that's cool. They're a roller coaster thing? They're okay. brain teaser puzzles. Oh, uh, brain teaser. Yeah, because yeah, he, like... he likes, because he's a little smiley pants. <laughs> okay, okay. I was like, okay, this dude can figure this stuff out. All right, all right. Now, oh, no, oh, already. So, oh. He really likes it. He really liked it. He's kicking it around. No. Oh, man. <laughs> all right, all right. We got one left, one left. Now, notice the bag, man. The bag is, is it's, it's all about the bag. Was he still within budget? Absolutely, 100%, even with the bag. Oh, good catch. Oh, oh, oh. What is it? I 
I got you a Rubik's Cube. Oh, a metallic one. Turn it around. Me the whole world would like to see it upside down metallic <laughs> Rubik's Cube. Me and Dad thought you would like it. That's right. That's, That's right. awesome. Now, we put a lot of thought into these, and we know how much of a smarty pants you are, thanks to Brooke and uh, her beautifulness. So we got some pretty smart things. Now, who do you think did the best out of these three? Um, for him or for me? For <laughs> <laughs> Justin. For Justin. This, this is my pick. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, listen, you put your head on them all the time. Um... Oh, man. Just this watch where the horn difficult. goes, man. Because if the horn goes up your nose, you're going to be in trouble. Hold on, hold on. Oh, well, well, they got to confer with each other. <sighs> wah, 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 I, th I think we all did great. What do you think, Mama? Uh, yeah, I think they did great. They did great? I think they really I did. I think I did really what? good. If he, has, if he doesn't like it, I'll take it. <laughs> I don't know. I think Sean will take it. already wants it. Yes, so he's yes, he's already gone. <laughs> I don't understand! Under pressure! Who won, Shauna? It's your call, it's not his. Hey, you can be biased all you want. It's your oh, call. Okay, then this one. <laughs> We're the one! We're the one pandering to the mom! <laughs> I don't know. Unicorn poop. I sell two bags. What can I exchange that for? I don't know. Where's the other bag? It's in my purse. I have to. Well, you, you carry your unicorn book with you. Yeah. <laughs> I was waiting for the one you, Did you ever think Do you, you have could? any idea? I have now five bags of unicorn poop, and I don't know what to do with them. <laughs> Wow! If you can seriously break out a bag of unicorn poop out of your purse, hold on, hold on! You cannot go in front of me because you aren't grabbing it from the back room. No, 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 no. Under pressure. There's her purse right there, ladies and germs. Let's see what she's working with. She can pull out a bag of unicorn poop right now. Wow! She literally had a bag of freaking unicorn poop with her. I was ready. Ready to exchange. <laughs> Holy cow! She literally had a bag of unicorn poop ready to exchange. Oh yeah. Wow. Wow. What would you like? What is it that you want to trade both bags of unicorn poop in for? Oh, there's not just one. <laughs> no, no, no. I want that one. And the other one you oh, would have won. Let me see if we have it. Let me see if we have it. You don't have the record yet. No, I don't. I, I was reading between this it? one and the creeper oh, record. But I don't think anyone's buying the creeper record anytime soon. All right, yes. Keep going. Yes, you, so. can, you can exchange two bags of unicorn Woo! poop for Hobo Johnson record. Does that one have the bad song? No, it's the new one. Okay. I have two bags of Yuko poop at home, but I never get I to exchange them. I my car. Them. <laughs> I guess next, you gotta, I guess next you know what? Put, them put, them in your, put them in your butt. No, why don't I do it? Put them in Rihanna's purse. Why yeah. don't we? Yeah, put them in my purse. <laughs> She'll use them on you, buddy. Yeah, there's no way I'm going to remember to bring them. Put them it's in a okay. backpack. Backpack, backpack. Now, there's one more gift, right? <laughs> there's yes. one more gift? Yes. It's well, hand it over to okay, him. Okay, okay. He, he's like, got to see it. I was like, backpack, backpack. Yeah, no, no, no. There's, yeah, on TikTok, the guy who does the backpack things with Dora, he's very scary. He is. Incredibly. I've seen it once, and I made sure I never had to see him again. If you follow us on TikTok, we follow the person who does it, and we only follow like 20 people. This is from us, because we heard you really liked cards, so. <laughs> oh, yo, we're matching. I took the other sticker. <laughs> And it's not even sticker? a gold yeah. crown Hallmark ah. anymore. It's like a Norman Hallmark. Hey, right? Nor I'm Norman rocks, man. Head. I didn't think I sucked the sticker that hard. I'm sorry. Guys. She licked it. I didn't. I didn't lick it because that's coronavirus. Horrible. Mmm, I like the way it tastes. Like yeah, get the good stuff out of there first and let them read the card. You know. Yeah, there you go. Nobody needs to see that. That's for you, buddy. Read the card. <clears throat> read the card. Read it out loud. What you working with? <laughs> Don't think this is just a birthday card. It's a taco on the front. <laughs> Happy birthday, Justin. Year 18 is going to be the best so far. Yo, 18 what? When filled with meat, cheese, and salsa, you get yourself a paper taco. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday. We love you. Aunt Stephanie, Brooke, Rihanna, Uncle Charlie, and Junior. That's not what it really says. Charlie Jr. <laughs> it's Charlie Jr. We do love you. Happy birthday. You know, you can skip out on us on one weekend, but we're going to get you the next one, turkey. Ah, because we are the... Maggie family. What? 
I love your shirt, dude. Thank you. Where do you get such an awesome shirt like that? At spinmearoundstore.com? That's right, at spinmearoundstore.com. Or on our super cool wall right there. <laughs> what? <sighs> Man, we got to push those shirts, huh? Yeah. You know what else we got to push? What? The stuff we just put into the crane machine. That's yeah. right. That's they right. Need a big duck. That's right. You need a big duck in your life. What? Or you need a French fries. <sighs> what else you got? Oh, a unicorn in there. Cupcake. Yeah. A winky emoji. A penguin. What? I, I think this one needs some love. I don't think anyone's played this one. They just keep playing that one. Aww. What? I know. I went, down, I went out the wrong door. Yeah. <laughs> ah, I just messed this whole thing up. Na, 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 na. What are they going to do now? So now they got to leave us a comment and let us know if they're fair and record that box for us because there's some really awesome stuff. they got to give us a like, a big old thumbs up because everybody likes a thumbs up because when you do good, you get good and then they have to. <laughs> Subscribe. <laughs> Subscribe. 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 Huh? Subscribe. Subscribe. <gasps> Ring that bell. Ding, ding, ding. Because you really like this lot. And we'll see you soon. And you know something else? What? Happy birthday, even though we're late. The we're... not our fault. We didn't forget. I know your birthday. I was there when your mom was actually going into labor with the fireworks. It was kind of crazy. Yeah. Right? You were there too. Yeah, you were there you too. You were there too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do -do -do -do. We're aliens. Good night. <laughs>